Hello everyone, and welcome to another Tales game. This is a Tales game that has been often requested and is hopefully one you're not fully expecting, because for a long time I said that it wasn't able to be done. I'm really sorry, Ghost. guys are excited as I am. I have heard a lot about this game. Um, I've heard that it makes up the third part of the Holy Trinity of Tales games, that it, along with t t um, Abyss and Symphonia, are basically the pinnacle of the series. I don't know how true that is, but I intend to find out. I I I've heard that even the people who have been the most detractful of it and say that it is not as good as people say it is, do generally agree it is still a good game. It's just not the absolute wondrous game that people give it credit for, so I'm also curious to see that. I do very much suspect it's going to suffer a little bit from, you know, New Game Syndrome, where it's the first Tales game people play, and people just will naturally think it's a better game, because a lot of the stuff other games do really well was fresh and new and brand new, and they've never seen it before. But hey, let's not talk about it too much. Um, I don't need to watch that. <laughs> so, for those of you that are wondering why I'm playing this game when I couldn't for a really long time, it's actually because of Ivy, who was my co-host for Silent Hill 3. Um, actually, let me, yeah, let me finish talking here. She recently came into a Xbox 360, and I kind of, I actually really feel sorry for her, because she was like, hey, um, I've got a 360, so if there's a, something we could play on that, you know, we could, that's an option now. And I think she really wanted to play another game with me, because she really likes it, and hey, I think it's fun, it's a nice break of pace, it's awesome. But my first response was, Oh, hey, actually, yeah, there's been this game people have been asking me to get forever. And she's totally not playing this game with me. Both because she's just not into RPGs, and because I just think it would be horribly unprofessional if we have this ongoing series of Tales games, and all of a sudden I mix it up and add a co-host in the fourth one. I just, I, I don't think that would be right by you guys. So, here I am in her house using her Xbox to play a game without her. Whoops! Um, the other thing that people may be wondering is why we didn't actually do a vote. The reason there was no vote on which Tales game to play is because there actually was a vote, like two and a half years ago. Right after I beat Abyss, there was a vote on which Tales game I would play next. And Vesperia won. But since I didn't have a 360, Vesperia was disqualified. And we ended up, Graces ended up just barely winning out, purely because of the fact that Symphonia was getting HD remake that hadn't come out yet. So, played both Graces and Symphonia, and now that I have the ability to start another Tales game, 
it would just be completely wrong of me to not play Tales of Vesperia now that I'm able to, considering it beat out the last two games I played. There's just, I, there'd be no point in having a vote, and frankly, I wouldn't surprise you guys. So let's do this. You've heard enough of me rambling. Our world, Terka Lumerates. No one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. That's the barriers interesting. protect the cities in which we live, and we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. It's the first game I've known where it just outright These says, yeah, you're outmatched. These generated by the Blastia. Blastia used the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire possible. Is the Empire actually good in this game? Usually the Empire are jerks. So this game is basically like Monster Hunter, except um, the vast majority of people never, ever, ever leave their village. monsters lying in wait just beyond the barriers the blessings of the blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world so how did the blastia and the barriers get set up then because obviously they weren't there originally, and if these monsters are so vicious, didn't they just like wiped out humanity before they could build? Those are pretty technologically advanced. What happened before they were out? I bet we'll find out. Oh no. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? Oh, someone actually took out the... Wait, they've got a bobble to control the barrier at a public fountain in the middle of nowhere? I mean, not in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of town? It seems like terrible setup. From the Imperial capital, Zophius, bedrock of peace, we pray, may tranquility bless this world. Hi, doggy. Wow, that's a very calm dog. Yuri, this is not good. I've got to say, that's actually a really, really interesting and cool call to action. Um, I do always kind of examine games and what they do in order to get you involved. But I, I do have to say that normally I was expecting something like, oh, you're an adventurer. You go out in order to get components, in order to make the barrier stronger or whatever, you know. And so you're actually willing to fight the monsters. But no, it's just like, yeah, the barrier's down. Everything's going to shit. <laughs> Sorry. I don't usually cuss, but, yeah, came out. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Wait, Yuri and Ted? That is extremely, like, regionally weird naming. Look, the Aqua Blast is broken again. And they just finished fixing it. What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Ha! Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. Well, they should. What about the heroic Make some cookies. Flynn? I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him. Oh, huh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Well, you know. Never mind that. Come on! We're short on people. Ted! Ted! You get down here! What is that dog doing? That dog, actually, with all the vicious beasts, I'm surprised they even have dogs. I would think people would just be like, Oh my god, a dog! Oh, I'll be there in a sec! Yuri, come on already! I'm too busy being cool with purple That's hair. Weird. 
He always comes running whenever there's trouble. Well, that's not weird. This is going to become an aquarium soon if this keeps up. He's very nonchalant for being, like, so kind of upset, you know? I mean, that's apparently a really big deal, and he's just like, whatever. Also, wow, why did the water get so dirty? Uh, um, for, uh, you know, it was actually clean and beautiful running through the city. I mean, other than the fact it was destroying homes and stuff, it was really pretty. Oh, okay, it is not a dead dog. That's always a good thing. Really, you can't walk outdoors like normal people? Oh, you jumped out the up to, upstairs window. Got it. First, the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the aqua blast here breaks. Oh, these are actually voice like actors now. happen every day in the lower quarter. <clears throat> I know, I know. It's no use whining about it. <clears throat> okay, I was totally trying to use the directional buttons, and they were not working. I found a save point. Yeah, I, I know what save points are. I'm not sure what A is. <laughs> this, it's weird. I actually use an Xbox controller for a lot of the games I play on my PC, but this is my first time using it as an Xbox controller. So when it actually says <laughs> press A, I'm like, wait, there's an A button? Because I'm so used to saying press X because I usually play things that are meant for PlayStation. It sure did. No surprise there. Only let us not the old beat up last year here in the lower quarter. So are we poor people? Oh, well, that's not as big a deal. What's going on? Any sunken treasure down there? What's going you know what's going on, Yuri? Yeah, but you're late, so I'm not sure. <laughs> How nice. What is he throwing? It looks like bags of water. Are those sandbags? Hey, it's sink or swim in this world. Looks like that blue-blooded mage we hired to fix the blast deal left the job half done. Blue-blooded. Does that mean rich? Glad you can find the time to stop by, Yuri. <laughs> well, you know, Hanks. I was like busy looking cool in a window, but Take it easy I can look cool in a fountain. Old man. You're not getting any younger. I, I don't know if they didn't know what that referred to, or if that's a new thing, but... Ugh. You're up next. Not afraid of a little water, are you? Yikes. Come on, put your backs into it! Hey, oh! Ace is really going at it. He feels responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. And now he's the one who's all wet. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bed repair job, though. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. Oh, what a jerk mage. I thought mage goes to boss later. Look at that guy in the background. He's just like moving water with a shovel. I'm helping. person to touch the blastia, right? Okay, Blue Blood does mean aristocrat. I was right. That's right, a Mr. Mordial. And he lives in the royal quarter? Yeah, so forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. You can just tell him I'm going to go get the core back so we can actually make it work. I don't think he would really mind. Well, he might mind a little bit. He does seem a bit crotchety. Hey, wait just a minute. Seriously, ain't gonna go into Mr. Mario's place. Okay, good. Hanks is smart. The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. It gives me the creeps. Damn it, Yuri. Just because you can do a few tricks for that body blast here, you think you're invincible. Is is blast here the term for like magical thing? I don't think he's talking about doing tricks with the fountain. I think he's talking about the sword. 
but they're just they're using the term blasty like I should know what it is. But I'm contextually I'm figuring it out, so I guess it's okay. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. Well, he is the main character in a Tales game, so probably. He always seems to cause problems when the lower quarters involved. Even the knights have started keeping an eye on him. Well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, I, I'm so glad that there is a walk button as opposed to a run button. I, I, I don't remember exactly where game started doing this, but it was so annoying when you used to have to hold a button the entire freaking time to run. It's like, nope, just give me a button if I want to walk. Imperial Knights are so cool! I'm gonna be a knight when I grow up! Okay. With our barrier and think rat parts, Safia is the safest place in the world. Except the barriers keep going down. Where the Emperor lives, so the Imperial Knights keep a very close watch. Relaxing in a beautiful town without a care in the world. Oh, that's a guy? Or actually, that's not a guy. I mean, hey, they can both be women. You don't know. Oh, my sweetheart by my side. Is it alright all to be so happy? No, get miserable right now. What's wrong, son? You lost? Zophius is a huge city, after all. This just get lost all the time. Capital's divided into three areas. You want to tell what they are? Okay, good. This is the citizen quarter. To the south is the lower quarter. And up the stairs to the west is the royal quarter. The castle's north. You get there from the royal quarter. You'll know it by its huge gate. You know the saying, to lack nobility, to lack humanity? <laughs> but of course you wouldn't. You have no education after all. Forgive me. That was subtle. Okay, I'm not sure if I should explore the entire city or not. Welcome, welcome to my magnificent atelier. Can you tell that I crackle with ferocious creative power at this very instant? Not really. So it's like, should I go? I mean, this city is massive, what they said. I've spent all day just going around talking to people. Why am I in here peaceful? These foundations are shaking. We still don't have a new emperor. See all the other tents over there? They're the tents for the morning market. I'm just going to go to kind of where the plot is telling me to go. Um, and I hope that the plot naturally has me explore the city at some point, rather than spending like an entire episode just walking around talking to people. It's been a while now since my hometown was destroyed, and I came to live at the capital. It's so quiet, but it's a really great place to live. I have no idea why elves speak in French, but they do. Probably because it's the only accent I can do passively. Hey, Mr. Wigard. Halt! Go any further, you'll leave the city. The well outside Zephyr's barrier is swimming with monsters. It's too dangerous for you to equip like that. I'm betting you'll... Okay, I was like, I bet it won't actually let me. Although the guard didn't stop me, that's interesting. I sort of expected that to be how it was like programmed in to not allow me to do stuff. So is that up the stairs to the west? I don't know why I thought west was the other way. I came to Zephyr's hoping I could help people. But now that I'm here, I don't really know what to do. Uh, help people. It's not hard. You there, you there. Are you are very aware of the serious events going on in the world? Over here, right here, I'm the Wonder Reporter. Bringing you the articles about what matters most every day. Do you read the newspaper in the morning? Cup of coffee? Donut? What? You don't? Well, that just won't do. What epic thing has transpired today? You'll never believe it. You can read it whenever, wherever, and with no effort at all. Yes, it's the Wonder Log. Put it to good use. And by the way, let's take the fact that I'm in the the fact that I'm in the wall a little secret. <laughs> what? <laughs> well then, farewell. Das L. One second, guys. Just got a text message. Hopefully I'll remember to cut this out. That's the problem when I... I swear they only start doing this when I start recording. I actually meant to look the winter log. Hey, you hear about the Belasi in the low quarter? <laughs> yeah, I heard something about breaking them and collecting money for it. To fix it. Oh, it breaking and then collecting money to fix it. 
That's right. I hear a lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasure, sir? Worthless junk, nothing more. They wouldn't have gotten more than one gold for them. Not even one gold? Can't imagine what sort of treasures those would have to be. I'd like to take a look myself. I'm telling you, nothing but junk. <laughs> Listen to those guys. I, I, I've heard him talk, but I, like an idiot, I didn't pay attention. So I don't really know what he sounds like. Poor Hanks. Really can't argue with him about the junk thing, though. Dude, don't throw rock. What? Dude! I'm playing as a juvenile delinquent. Ah! What the? Who's there? Okay, how is a small pebble on someone's helmet going to knock them out? If you can't understand the value of junk, you're worse less than junk yourself. And nobody reacts. Repeat. Can you find the trail? Okay, I was going to say, now we find out whether the general populace was like, Oh my god, a monster! But apparently not. So they've been taking Glacier course from here, too. Looks like someone's got some sticky fingers. And that's the world quarter for you. A few Glacier cores go missing, and no one even makes a fuss. And just one is enough to throw the lower quarter into chaos. If they've got cores to spare, we can stand to give us some. So the cores are interchangeable, then. Found it. Looks like the nobles are living the sweet life as usual. Oh, okay, I wasn't too far off. The lower quarter's right there. They still don't give a damn. It's not their loss, so what do they care? They should act, you know, noble. Not just dress nice and hide in their mansions. That is a good point that I hadn't really thought about, is that the term noble has a definition that is completely separate from its, like, hierarchical ranking. You know, to display nobility is very different than to be noble. Hey, you! You don't think you can just draw water here, do you? Commoners are rude and greedy. Go back to where you came. Wow. Have you heard? I said unusual comments are the one of the empty mansions lately. I'd like to report it to the knights, but as nothing, it's more than a worth of the rumor. The mansion near the lake? Everyone's talking about it. The house is supposed to be empty, but people have seen lights shining at night. Oh no. You came all the way here? Oh well. Hey, it's an elf. There are rich elves too. The royal corridor has many ballistia. It seems like most nobles don't really care about ballistia. Most elves don't care about wearing appropriate clothing. I like it. You, the, this exit for nobles only. Common rebel like you should use the exit in the lower quarter. I wonder how they know I'm common. Is it just my clothes? I can be slumming. I can be a slumming noble. I'm so in love with Captain Kumor of the Imperial Knights. I wish he was my boyfriend. He was so hot when he's crushing those commoners. Holy crap! They're a bit heavy-handed with the metaphor, aren't they? We get it. The noble people are dicks. Buzz Jesums. So that kind of makes sense on why I'm a juvenile delinquent. I don't actually try and work with the knights because they're just like, whatever, commoner. So this is where he lives. Hmm. I wasn't expecting a locked door. But it doesn't seem like there's anyone around. <laughs> I thought you were gonna pick it, dude. I didn't think you'd just kick it. Stupid door! I know it just showed me. Ooh, I got a magic lens. You know what would be really awesome? If you had a game like this and there was locked door, and if you like went over to the doormat, you could check and there was a key underneath, just like in real life. Not that I've, you, you know, broken into places. Oh, is it open? Can I get in this way? Mordio is hiding here somewhere. 
I kind of wish you had a party. Alright, let's see here. I'm noticing that none of the doors open. Which means they're funneling me. Uh, that's the only one that reacts to me. It won't open. What to do? That must be... Found him. Oh, hey! The dog's in here, too! Um, what was it? Respite? It was something starting with an R. You are Mordio, correct? Wait, really? Good boy. What the? The Blasio Core is gone. Let's go and get that core back. Get that major whomping while we're at it. Woo! Theoretically, it could easily be that the mage is still nearby because... Okay, no, it's not let letting me go anywhere else. I was going to say, it could easily be that they have like an escape plan, but it will escape back to their house. So when you ambush them, they're on the house. Yuri! So it is you who are the cause of all this commotion! What the... Holy crap, I don't, I don't know if that's racist or what, but really fat lips and a stupid French mustache? I, wh what am I even looking at? I know he's poor, but breaking into an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen. I'm mighty? Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. It's Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. Now let's see, just what I needed. Okay, this is much closer to his voice. Just what is a Tweedle anyway? <laughs> No hope of escape. We've got you surrounded. No, you don't. You're two people. Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just say that. I say, you take that back. Enough beating around the bush, I guess. <laughs> So you can just, like, attack guards in the middle of the, like, street and... <laughs> okay. This, this world's weird. Stand back, Otacor. I'll handle this. In the name of the Imperial Knights. So, man, that little kid wanted to be Imperial Knight. He must have never met these two. I say, I shall be the one to defend the good name of the Imperial Knights. Peons, I say, should stand back. You're the peon. No, no, I say. I am your superior. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, guys, but let's cut the cat fight and get on with it. Okay. Jump the pipes and let stick. That makes sense. Okay, left trigger at my stick. Oh, I can try this. Well, I'm using this like the whole game. Hey, let's go. You ready? I am your superior. Snay focus. You are, I say, clearly my subordinate. You are a knave. You are a thistleberry. I guess I just gotta whack these guys a little. Wow, that's slower than anything. Oh. There, how'd that make you feel? Uh, well, the, your combos feel really slow, actually. I'm, I'm not sure I really like it. How dare you! Hitting someone in the middle of an argument is hardly proper manners. 
Didn't you hear me when I said, you ready? Or were you not listening? Damn it! Oh, oh brother. Uh, you! Stop right there! Does it look like I'm running? You! Be quiet! <laughs> Oops, time for a little defense. I wonder if I just like did this forever if it would eventually like have me not die. I'm pretty sure it's not actually counting. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not actually counting hit points right now. I say Sonic Thrust! Whoa, come on, give me a break. Ooh! I say how dare you block my art! Man, you need to calm down. If you can use strike arts here, then I can too. Okay. I keep trying to like learn to get ahead of it and like start comboing and stuff, but it, it won't let me. It's like no, no, you're not you're not ready for that. I'm not freaking ready for that, shut up. Darn it. Uh, I say, Imperial Knights never give up. Well, then they better surrender. You have yet to see our true power. This next time's for real, guys. That's my line, I say. That's my line. You're dead. Okay. Not arts. Okay, apparently that doesn't do anything. are really weird as I'm using the other controls. I okay, I'm not done yet. okay stop being done. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not losing this fight. I'm not gonna lose this fight. I hope I'll eventually get used to it, but the controls are completely backwards. Um, I'm blocking, by the way. I didn't lose the tutorial fight, barely. Man, the biggest problem was that the block, but I mean, like, all the controls were wrong. Every last one of them. That was, that Come was terrible. On, guys. You can do better than that, can't you? No, they can't. Please don't let them. Okay, that's what I was going to wonder. I'm like, surely you can't just run around beating up guys Looks and like I get won't with be it. catching up with that carriage anytime soon. How typical of the Schwan Brigade. They can't even manage to capture a single lone. What's the Schwan Brigade? Br Brigade. Brigadier. Yeah, it's Kumor. So, you're the one that that one lady has crush on? Also, apparently, you beat up commoners. Crap. Captain Kumor? I say, our apologies for this unsightly display. 
I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you, lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. Um, no, I think he will. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. There he is. I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. Attica, why are you still here? <laughs> well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for can a while. Can I get while. healed first? Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you're finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Oh, so apparently I like him a frequent um, stayer at the prison. Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. Wait, I stole something priceless? What, what don't I know about this? You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, Bob. The Darkwings are going nuts looking for the hideout. Wait, the, are these the same Darkwings from Abyss? I didn't think these words were connected, but there were definitely Darkwings in both games. Are there ducks involved? You mean the Thieves' Guild? <clears throat> That's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. Hello, Captain Halberger. Hey, neighbor. You're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. <laughs> they already released me. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. <laughs> sure you do, old man. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Oh, is this tutorial, man? Want to know about the pirate guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Oh, wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower quarter will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, uh, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. And what am I gonna do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the city of scholars? Um... The only real connection is the hilt of my blade to the point of my blade. But that will connect with Mordio quite well. Do you know about him? Oh, wanna know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. Uh, we're in prison. The famed mage from Ospio. The city of scholars, right? I think I got it. Wait, that's not it. He's the, uh, the head of the gourmet guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean... You... Yuri, you have really got to learn to start picking locks. Out. Oh well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? I don't know, but um, he should have a Russian voice if his name is Alexei. At least he is very brusque. That's appropriate. Whoa! Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. Can you just throw me a key? I did say I was looking for a way out of here. So you were just hanging around with the prison key. Like, whatever. Back again. Man, I was just in here last month for fighting some knights collecting taxes. I guess I get free meals out of it, if you can call it food. Damn, Cumor's made this way more complicated than it needed to be. 
Look at that. It opened. I have a vigilant as usual. The way he's sleeping will be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. You should at least shut the door so it's less obvious. If I come back before morning, they'll never be the wiser to my little jailbreak. I think I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. I'll probably be good to try that statue of the goddess, too. Oh, that's why I keep pressing the wrong dang button. Um. So how do I pull up the menu? Can I not do that right now? Yeah, why? Oh, I have a button to do random stuff. Okay. Anyway, though, um, I will go ahead and end the first episode here. Um, join me next time for more Tales of Vesperia Blind. Um. I can, I'm already starting to see a little bit what people said about this game, because you're playing... I don't know if you call him an anti-hero, but he's definitely not the prim and proper hero of other games. He certainly... He has a very ingrained distrust of authority, although, frankly, he seems to live in kind of a dickish world, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you all next time for more... I, I already said that. Never mind, I'll say it again. I refuse. See you guys.